who is our Savior? So just who is the Savior? Easton's uh, Bible Dictionary tells us uh, a Savior is one who saves from any form or degree of evil. In its high sense, word indicates uh, the relation sustained by our Lord Jesus Christ to those he has redeemed. He is their Savior. And all of mankind is on one of two roads. Uh, they're on the road to heaven or to the road to hell. If on the road to hell, one need to pay for their own sins to get to heaven. Uh, and that isn't possible. Uh, the, the wages of sin is death, it says in Romans 6, uh, verse 23. And that means an eternal separation from God in a lake of fire. And uh, we, we can see that mentioned again in Revelation chapter 20, verses 14 through 15. Since uh, no one in this world can pay this price, God sent his son to pay for our sins and thus be the savior of the world, according to 1 John 4, uh, verse 14, and Luke 19, uh, verse 10. And since the wages of sin is death, meaning eternal separation from God in the lake of fire, we need this savior. We are all born into sin, thanks to Adam and Eve, uh, and our uh, intended relationship with God was changed by their disobedience to God's commands. Uh, their disobedience caused spiritual death for themselves and their descendants, which includes you and me. Uh, however, there is a way to have that relationship restored. Writing in Ephesians, uh, Paul tells us that we are made alive when we accept Christ and our relationship with God is restored and we are delivered from the power of death and eternal separation from God according to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 1. Uh, Jesus came to minister to us and he gave uh, his life as a ransom paying for our sins making him a savior for every individual in this world. According to Matthew 20, verse 28, and 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4 through 6, 1 John chapter 2, verse 2. And in Christ, we have been forgiven of our sin, unbelief, and all other sins, according to 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. And uh, uh, thank you for listening.